Yep. Title's not clickbait. I bent the A-liner. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so let's chat about it. <laughs> <laughs> really though you guys I bent the tongue on the a-liner uh, and it really sucks when I bought it uh, I posted some pictures and people said oh it looks bent already and I'm like bent already what is this like a thing and I didn't look it up um, but it's a thing a-liners the tongues bend up on them why I don't know it's a frame it's supposed to be real solid right it's like steel frame and stuff I mean, I barely mobbed this thing at all. So anyways, uh, it's a bummer, but we're gonna get it fixed. I talked to a local guy here. He said that he, <laughs> I go, yeah, it's an A-liner, A-frame pop-up. And he goes, yep, you bent the tongue. And I'm like, so you've heard of this? And he's like, yeah, I'd usually do about one a year. Probably done about 20 of them. So I'm like, well, at least I'm talking to the right guy. But uh, I'm gonna go there tomorrow morning. He's gonna um, throw it up. He said, you know, he couldn't give me a price over the phone or anything, so we'll see. I hope it's not too expensive. Um, so once we bend the frame back, we'll then look at reinforcing it so this never happens again. So let's check out where it bent. Um, Again, the, the tongue bent. So one area that's extremely obvious is when you open the front hatch. That right there is pretty much hitting the propane box. Yeah, it never did that. It had like a lot of clearance. Um, and you can look down here. This is where it's a dead giveaway is the frame came up. I mean, it, it came up into the camper a bit and pinched it. Um, so that's just kind of a bummer. Yeah, it's just a bummer. Um, I really did not mob this thing that hard, I felt like, but uh, anyways, it's an A-liner thing, I guess, and it's the biggest reason that A-liners suck. <laughs> um, I love this camper trailer. It's, it's, it's been really cool, um, and once we get this figured out, it'll be, it'll be good, I guess, but uh, yeah, not too excited about all of that noise. We'll see what the guy says tomorrow. I'll try to get her all fixed up. So the videos you just saw were shot about four months ago. And if you look at the A-liner tongue, it's pretty straight. We got it all fixed up at Al's Unibody. All that mobbing you just saw was actually after the trailer was fixed. But hey, I had to give you guys a good video, right? Um, so anyways, my point being, it did not take a lot to bend this tongue. I went camping in it once, took it to King of the Hammers and camped once on the way home and that's all it took to bend this tongue. Since the repairs, I mobbed this thing through Arizona, Nevada, California, all the way through Oregon and up into Washington and it's been holding up great. So real quick, I'll show you, you remember <laughs> how close the, uh, how close this was? Well, look how far away it is now. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's like inches, right? And as you can see down here is where it hit was hitting before and it's not even touching um, now. I went down in here and I cocked that and I put some new screws in and sealed it all up. Um, and actually, it the frame didn't come much into the camper so it wasn't that big a deal so the first thing al did was throw this thing up on his lift um, and get some levels on it and start bending the frame back uh, so that everything was straight but let's take a look at what al did underneath and uh how much i paid for all this so you can see this whole plate here is what al put in this is quarter inch steel bent it back up you know welded in here uh, welded really all the spots that this was supposed to be welded in the first place pretty amazing um, when I got underneath here and looked how Crappy it was and how little things were actually welded um, But yeah, this is the main piece you can see of course the other side Looks pretty similar 
little piece of diamond plate welded in there. So those are the main supports that were needed. So as far as how much I paid, um, most of you are probably gonna think that I got ripped off and overpaid. And well, most of you are probably right. Um, I paid $865 total for this repair. And when you look under there, there's just tiny little plates welded in. And to be honest with you, uh, looking back, I could have done this with a buddy um, and bought him some beers or something like that. But uh, in the moment, I was very rushed. I had to go to Oregon uh, within a couple days. At the same time, it did, you know, Al's a pro and it took him a couple days um, of work to get it done. And he got it done right away too, within a couple days. So. Uh, it worked out for me. I was able to get on the road, keep going, keep editing videos, and keep going with my lifestyle. And you know, I'm no fabricator, so uh, it was worth it. Overall, this little A-liner uh, has been really awesome. I've enjoyed the inside. It's held up kind of well. Some of the countertops are starting to come loose, and I'm gonna have to do some repairs inside um, because. I mean, I am down to mob. I, I don't go too slow in this thing. <laughs> and you know, it's really smooth behind the Jeep. You don't feel anything. Anyways, stay tuned for more details on the Jeep build. Things are gonna ramp up here again in 2020. I'm really excited to have you on board. So comment below, let me know what you think. If you did enjoy the video, you should turn that thumb blue. The only question is, are you down to mob? Ooh, mob. <laughs>